Okay, that's that's the start of the video. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about binding and binders and what they are and how you use them and how you do it safely. Lots of transmasculine people, so whether that be non-binary people or trans men like me, um, wear binders to basically like compress their chest. I was talking about it in my um, top surgery video. Like, when you've got boobs, we don't like boobs when you're trans masculine. It's, it's, uh, it's just us who doesn't like, you know, we, it, we get dysphoria off it. So, we wear this. I'm not, I'm sitting, what am I saying? I'm not sitting far away from the camera, so you probably won't be able to see it, but like, this is a binder. It's like a sports bra. It's not very comfortable to use, <laughs> but it compresses your chest. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. Um, well enough to go out in public and not feel like you are feminine. If that makes sense, I'm happy it does. Okay, bye guys, finished. I'm joking, I'm joking, it's fine. <laughs> now, I started wearing binders when I was mm, two years ago, so 18, 19, uh, 18, 17. So like 16, 17, I started wearing it after I did Sound of Music, so that, that was about two years ago. Um, and when I first put it on, and it was just a normal day, because I've said I didn't want to wear it um, during college hours because I didn't know how it felt, and I didn't know if I liked it or not. So I put it on, and I looked in the mirror, and I burst into tears. Because, like, I've so, uh, I've shown I haven't shown you this. Whoa, that'd be weird. Um, I've got very big boobs, and I've told a lot of people this, and I've said it in my top surgery video. Um, but it does stress me out a lot, and it brings me a lot, a lot, a lot of dysphoria. Um, dysphoria is when um, there's a part of your body where you wish to change to be like the opposite sex. So. Lots of, I don't really know, it's really, really weird because it's different for everyone. So, some people might have dysphoria in their voice, and then they'll take a thing called hormone replacement therapy, and take testosterone, and change their voice so it's deeper and lower. <laughs> um, I mainly have um, dysphoria on my chest, so I really don't like my boobs, they are the the strain on my life as a trans person, as a normal person, I don't think, I, I've never liked my boobs and that's when I knew I was trans, that's, um, my gender dysphoria affirmed to me why I was trans because as soon as I grow into like that puberty phase and I was growing and I was growing boobs and growing lots of different things that I didn't want on my body I didn't like myself very much and it was really really strange trying to navigate oh what does this mean I don't like boobs but it's not like oh my boobs are too big my boobs are too small it's like the fact that I want to look like my brother I want to look like those people on TV um, and it's a thing of like it's not that I want to look like a really really hot dude though that would be perfect I was watching a video of Matt Lucas and he had his shirt off, and not to shame Matt Lucas or anything, but he's got, like, he's quite um, chubby, he's quite fat, if that, you know, I feel bad saying that, but he's got bigger, he's got a bigger chest than most men, and I was nearly crying, because I was like, I want to do that, I, I want that, I really, really want that, so it just shows that it's nothing about wanting a flat, flat, flat chest, though lots of people do have that, I just want to look as masculine as possible and be able to go out in public without my shirt off because that is amazing. But let's get back on the track of the video. Right now I haven't got top surgery yet, so I wear, oh my god it's tangled up, Ugh, one of these. And I put this on and my boobs don't look as big as usual. I've got a way to show you this, oh my god, wait, stay there. Right, so obviously I've got a top on, I'm not gonna like show you my boobs, it's not why I'm here. But like, so this is me without a binder on. And if you look, oh, that's bad. I'm, I am kind of like, but like this is my non-binded body. So you obviously you can see like a boob. There's a boob, ah. So then, 
Oh, focus, focus, thank you. Um, and this is it when I've got a binder on. Obviously, you can see that it's like, it's not as bad and it's pretty good. You can still see a bit of boobage, but it's still really, really good and it helps. So, yeah, if you can see the difference between that, then that's why I wear a binder. And if you can't, then there's also a lot of mental, mental, um, like, like health things to go into it so like I don't know I feel like I'm doing something to help myself look more masculine which is it sounds kind of sad but it's not it's just like I'm helping myself become who I want to be and I feel a sense of pride when I wear a binder um because it's it's important and especially now since I know I'm gonna have top surgery I feel a sense of like like I'm not gonna miss my boobs but I'm changing my body and it's like, you know, I'm I'm changing and it's basically saying goodbye to my previous body because I, I've, I've had fifth, no, how old am I? 18. I've had 18 years in this body. I should be sub saluting it and saying goodbye to it in a way which makes it feel happy. That's a bit of a weird thing to say, but it's like when you give cards to someone who's leaving university. They're going somewhere really, really nice. They're going somewhere really, really cool. But you still feel a sense of sadness because it's a new era and they're going away. Even when your child goes from primary school to secondary school or when you change jobs or when you have a promotion, I, I don't know. Like It's just like, it's a rite of passage. Um, that's, I mean, like, I don't think I'm going to show you these photos. Maybe I will after top surgery. But I did like a little like photo shoot where I just wore a binder. And I was like, ooh, look how cool I am. Just to be like, you know, this is me. I'm so proud of it. That makes sense. Although I'm really, really happy that I get to wear a binder, not many people do. It might be because of health reasons. I'm doing a video on my physical health to show you what binding can do, um, physically wise. Um, or like, it might be because of the lungs. It might be because of the back which is one of my problems. Um, you might not live in a space where people allow you to be you, so you might be living with family members who are really not okay. Either, either they let you be trans, but they don't want you to change things, or they don't want you to wear it because of other reasons. And although that's really, really sad, you are still valid, and you are still as much as a trans person as you are with a binder. That doesn't do anything to you as a trans... I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you are trans, if you are trans. But, like, you don't have to wear a binder if you don't want to. Or if it's dangerous for you to. If you are trans, or if you are wanting to wear a binder because you are a cosplayer. So, some people wear it because they dress up as a guy in the way of being Spider-Man. I don't know what cosplays do, I'm sorry. Or maybe you were you are a drag king and you want to wear a binder to make sure you are entertaining people in the way of you have no boobs when you're being a drag queen king. Literally, I don't know these examples, I'm just saying like there's different ways of binding and different ways why you would bind. But if you do, no matter if you're trans or just wanting to bind for something or other, please, please, please do it properly and do it safely. If you don't look after your body, there can be really serious things that will happen. Either you will hurt your lungs, you will hurt your body and bones and ribs. I'm going to tell you four really, really, really important things you need to do while binding or thinking about binding. Number one is please don't use sports bandages or ace bandages or um, tape, duct tape or anything like that to bind. That is not the safe way to bind. They can cause really, really, really big damage to your internal organs. They can cause broken ribs and they can just wreck your body for life. Please, please, please do not bind with bandages or um, duct tape. Please don't. Please don't wear a binder all the time. Don't sleep in your binder and make sure that you're only wearing it for 
I mean, obviously, like, we go to school a lot, but the actual recommended hours is, like, four to eight, literally, but I'd recommend, like, less than 12 hours, because, okay, um, for, for all you cisgendered women out there, or just people who wear bras, um, you know when you take a bra off after a very, very, very long day, either you're um, working or going out with friends or just at school and stuff, and you take off your bra at the end of the day and you feel a sense of, like, freedom in, in the way of, like, it's just nicer to not wear a bra. That's the same but, like, a hundred times worse for a binder because of how um, tight it is around your body. Um... So please don't wear your binder at night because, again, you will cause restricted breathing and hurting your ribs and internal organs and it's really, really important that you look after yourself. To help you ease your body and to help you um, basically like relax at the end and the start of the day, yeah, I'm saying that right, um, do some stretching exercises. I personally use seven minute workout to do, obviously, a bit of work at, working out, um, but also they have a really, really good um, seven minute stretching and it's generally just seven minutes of stretching like it said on the tin and it's just dead dead good if you don't want to do an app literally just just stretch do that do that and and like stretch and make sure you're stretching properly and make sure you're not hurting yourself while doing it but and do it without a binder you cannot work out with a binder in with a binder I mean you can but you will hurt yourself at the end of the day and I don't want you to hurt yourself and I don't want to give you information and be like you can wear a binder forever because unfortunately you can't and unfortunately if you do you will hurt yourself so please bear in mind the the negative things that go into wearing a binder make sure you are wearing the right binder for you there are lots and lots of different binders I think there's me, I can't remember. I'll look at my sheet of paper so you can remember. <laughs> look at me, fancy. So, there are loads and loads of amazing different binder um, like companies that give you binders. Um, you have to pay for them. But these companies are Underworks and GC2B. I will link these two down below. Um, obviously, like if you know a bit about binders and you know... Um, and you have the money to spare if things don't go right... Um, just go on Amazon and literally just make sure, just make sure you know what binder you're buying and what's the correct binder for you. There are also amazing organisations out there which give you, um, free binders. So basically you go in, not go in, you, you type in on the internet and you're like, um, this is my story, this is my reasoning to why I need a binder and why I can't afford one myself. Um, and... There you go, like, you go through, like, I, I, didn't ha I didn't have to do this, so I don't really know the process, but I'll link those websites below so you can have a look yourself and to make sure that you're getting the right care and the right support and the right binder for you. My binder was £20, I generally think. I think it might have been 15 to £20, but that's literally just how expensive binders are. I don't really know why they're so expensive, but... They are? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have a quite a lot of binders in my life because I am um, able enough to spend money on it because just my circumstances and it's okay if you're not the same, okay? You just need to do your research a little bit more properly than I did and make sure you are washing regularly. Once you wear a day in this, this is why I'm always sweaty, guys. Whoever know me, and if it's like my binder, my binder years, these past two years, sweat. That's really, really tight on your body. Imagine wearing like, like, two hoodies and then the actual top you're wearing, but just on this part of your body. It's very, very hot. Um, so make sure you are washing it regularly and make sure you don't, mess up your washing because once I put some well my mum actually my mum does my washing because I can't do it um my mum put something in the washing with it and the binder turned out like a yellow diary colour and it just looked awful and it was like well I'm never gonna wear that again you can obviously wear it if it's a different colour but 
it just didn't look very good and I didn't want it on my body because it was like weird. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had, I didn't know, oh how do I start this? Um, I am fat. <laughs> That's how I'll start it. I am, I'm not fat. I enjoy my fatness. I like to be a bit fat. Um, but I have, I have chunk. I am a chunky boy and because of that I thought I needed a large binder. And because of my like boob size as well, I thought I needed a large binder. So I got a large binder, but because it was so large, I thought I was huge breasted. But I'm not, apparently so, because there's like a large ones which like ah, it was horrible wearing them. So with the large ones, um they went oh 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 they went to here, which is where my stomach is. That's why can you see like my boob there's my boobs and I went to here. So because I went to here, um, it was causing lots and lots of restrictive breathing. I can't speak. Restricted breathing. And um, it was just not okay because I couldn't breathe properly. And it was hurting me within an hour of wearing, not even. So I had to go and buy... Uh, I have to go and buy... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I had to go and buy um, medium binders as well. I'm really, really lucky that my mum spent most of the money on binding because I think it started off as like like a present thing, like I got this for you because I want you to feel safe and secure, because um, and it was December time as well, but then it just turned out to be like, mum I need binders, <laughs> just like how when you're young your mum buys your clothes. I'm 18 and I shouldn't be doing this, but here we go. Bear in mind that I haven't had a new binder since since I first started getting them. So I was like 16, 17 at that point. So it was it was validating <laughs> that I could just buy. Well, my mum just bought them for me, which is really, really good. So if you've got a different binder, which you like, make sure like you either measure yourself. I can't do that because it makes me feel very, very dysphoric. But it would have helped me in the long term because it, it just would have helped. <laughs> um, right now I wear a medium binder. Um, I haven't been wearing it for a while because um, I didn't really have dysphoria around the house and I feel like because I'm getting top surgery and I already know I'm getting top surgery, um, I just feel okay with not wearing a binder and I wake up happy because I'm having top surgery so why should I have to worry about boobs when no one can see them? When I go through through walks, then I feel dysphoric and I just wear a big, big hoodie because I don't really like wearing a binder because it makes me feel trans. That's really, really awkward and horrible to say, but yeah, there's loads and loads of positive, really like 98% of everything that the binder has given me, 95% mm, of everything the binder has given me is really, really positive, but then that 5% is just like a little bit negative and has hurt me a little bit. Um, but it's so, so worth it because at the end of the day, you are binding to be you and that's really, really important. This video was generally just me rabbiting on a little bit, but I'm happy that I was able to talk to you about this because I don't think there's so much content out there for um, young, like proper young people who bind. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and you like it. I will link all the things in the description below and I hope you have a really, really amazing day or had an amazing day because this will be going up at five o'clock. Hello um, viewers who are viewing at five o'clock, you're awesome. Um, I just wanted to say, like I said in the other um, two videos, is that I'm raising money for an amazing, amazing organisation called The Proud Trust. The Proud Trust is a LGBTQ plus organisation that works in Greater Manchester and Cheshire and does loads and loads of things like working with faith groups and working with schools to create a good atmosphere for um, trans people and for people whose sexuality isn't heterosexual. Um, they do youth groups throughout the areas that I've just mentioned and I think they do 29 youth groups and I just think that's really really amazing. They are regular youth groups that meet up regularly <laughs> and they're just really really good. I've went to one in Manchester and just 
and I was doing like a play project for them, uh, for me, um, and they were helping me with it. And it was just seeing so many amazing people being like, yeah, that's right, I'm trans and this is my other trans person and we get along um, in this group because we do lots of different activities that aren't about our gender or sexuality and it gives us a place to meet up and to make friends who are like us to make sure that we are understanding our own gender and sexuality. And that is super, super important. I feel like um, I didn't go to a youth group because it was frowned upon when I first came out against my family um, and even now I feel like it's not like I, f ugh, I don't know it's basically just like I don't know like sometimes when you get bullied into not doing something it stays with you for a very very long time and you don't want to go to a thing because it makes you feel like bad for going to that thing basically so I'm I'm not I wasn't able to go to a Proud Trust one, but I got loads and loads of information from them through Pride events, and literally, like, if you go up to them during a Pride event, if you go up to anyone during a Pride event, they will help you and they will make you feel comfortable, and they will talk you through really, really important things to make you feel important and validated, and that is really, really, really important. Like, I just need to, like, state that to you because you don't understand, like, you might, okay, okay. But some of you might not understand how important it is to actually hear people talk about what you need in life. Don't forget that, like, I didn't even know I had rights when I was younger, and I was treated super, super badly because I just didn't know that they were treating me badly and that's from lots of different areas within my life. Um, now I know about my rights and now I know about why it's important for me to do this and why I'm not a problem and most of that validation is from the Proud Trust and that's why I'm really raising money for it because I know how much they helped me and I know how much they help other people and they deserve money during this difficult time and they're doing really really well during this event during this event <laughs> okay lockdown is now an event guys i'm raising 200 pounds it'd be great if i could raise a little bit more but i'm raising 200 pounds and i'm doing it by um just giving which is a website which you can just give um all the money goes to the charity and it's brilliant I'm really, really happy that I'm doing this. The links are below, like they are normally, and I'll give you a bit of a rundown of why I'm doing this again, um, and the facts and stuff. Um, if you want to hear more about the facts, go to the Proud Trust video, um, and I will put it here, I think. Yeah, I'll put it here. Here it is. Did you see it? Da -da 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 -da. Please subscribe to me. I'll put that here. Subscribe, please. Um, and this, I'll put it down here, is my playlist of Trans Journey June. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit long. I've been filming this half for 21 minutes and the last half for like 10. Oh my god, wow! Um, okay, bye-bye. I love you all so much and I hope you are having an amazing day and I hope that lockdown is treating you kindly. Um, any person who wants to talk to me about... Um, trans issues and stuff can go to links below <laughs> probably my instagram because my phone's not working and twitter's not working it's really pissing me off um i'll stop talking now goodbye love you all so much bye